You know, I've always said that when is a movie sequel one too many or a TV series as far as seasons, when has it gone one season too many? And we've seen this plenty of times, and we've seen this from shows that are not working in their first season. We've seen the bloodbath over at the CW. And if you haven't caught the videos yet, you've seen they've, they're pretty much ki killing off the Arrowverse. Uh, they've killed a plenty, a good plenty of their shows, including the 4400, Dynasty, In the Dark, Charm. I mean, I can go on and on and on. There's another announcement on that as well as another... Um, series is going to the wayside as well to the to the axman uh chopping block because you know sometimes you get to a point where you're like why do we have these shows you know we it will not sustain the network but then there are shows out there that have been running eh, for a couple maybe for 10 years 20 years 30 years 50 years that are still around with us and we have to ask, have they reached, as we used to call it, have they jumped the shark? Do you remember that from Happy Days? And, you know, we got to a point where we, you know, we have to look back and say, some shows need to be gone. And I think we're seeing a point where one particular show is headed to the... To, I think it's headed to cancellation soon because it's just reached its pinnacle where some of its ratings is reaching CW levels. Yes, The Simpsons. It's been around for 33 years. 33 years. I mean, you know, not too many shows get to this level. Doctor Who happens to be an even longer period than The Simpsons and a couple of other shows that are still around. Not too many, but there are some that are still around. Now, Simpsons are going to be hit. They've been approved for their next season, I think the season 34. But one thing I heard, and I, and I grabbed this article, and I said, mm, they had one bad day. They had one bad day. I mean, the ratings have been dropping, but they've been staying steady. And that's the thing about it is. Um, but in, the, in season 33, the ratings are taking a tumble, sort of a rotation tumble. And someone sent me this on Showbiz 411, but this was back a bit. And I... It just came across my desk again. Simpsons dropped below 1 million viewers for the first time in 33 seasons. And I looked back and I said, they, yeah, they're right. But I said, one, one does not, a hit show is The Simpsons, even with its declining views. One show that hit below 1 million, you know, you can't say. But what I can say today, and looking at the current ratings, and I believe they already finished their season, it's not one, it's not two. They had three episodes that dropped below a million. And you have to say to yourself, maybe we've gotten to the end. I'm gonna read a little bit of this into this from, that, from this article. Is it something Homer said? On Sunday night, Sunday night, and this was back then, uh, the Simpsons fell below the magic number of one million for the first time ever in its 33 year history. Last week's show scored million ninety-five, and that was the second week in a row of low numbers. Ratings for The Simpsons are usually around 1.5 million, which is about average for them now these days. Although sometimes it doubles that amount. Six, six times this season, the total number of reviews has been up to 4 million. That's correct also. But Sunday night brought in just 950,000 fans. That was a drop over 100% and a significant fall from the season opener. Last September, 3.5 million views. Don't worry, The Simpsons won't be canceling anytime soon. You never know. It's a low-budget show with so many other revenue streams, merchandise, etc. that Fox is even close to saying goodbye. 
remember, this is Disney now that's running this. But suddenly, the drop is a little worrisome. The episode on Sunday, The Sound of Bleeding Gums, was no different than the last several hundred Little Lisas who play the sax, meaning a jazz legend. That's true. Maybe it is too arcane, but aren't all the Simpsons episodes like that? We're hoping for a rebound coming next week. And, you know, the thing, the rebound, and I'll tell you, looking at it, didn't really come. It just basically, it went just up a bit. And that was the next episode, which was a, and we'll look at this, it's 0 0.965. Then this, the beginning of the month, uh, uh, May 1st, we saw it at uh, about back up to a million thirty. And then on the episode on the 8th, it took a massive, massive tumble to 0 0.846 bringing it down to, I believe, one of the first at 0 0.26, putting the Simpsons at a demo change of about 9% for the season, 0 0.65, and an average of 2 million viewers. That's not good. Even though they ended up at the end of the season, it's 2 million, and that's just because they've had a couple of uh, 3 million uh, episodes. What has happened? What's going on? The series is not doing good as it used to be. It's not as fun as it used to be. And you could hit it up to some of the subject matters that they've been talking about. Uh, you could also hit it upon the voice actor changes that have been going on, the elimination of certain characters, you know, like we don't see Apu like he, he used to be, which was, I loved Apu, it was a great character. Hank Azaria did a great job on that, and of course, Hank Azaria was pushed out of it. You know, it's ridiculous. You know, they say, well, you know, you can't have uh, people of white color uh, doing minority characters, but you have people on the dark side of the skin doing minority characters and Asians and various other characters, and nobody complains about that, you notice. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, the same thing is happening over Family Guy at, to a certain point with all the voice changes. But one of the other things is certain subjects just keep repeating and repeating and repeating. And then, of course, you have Treehouse of Horrors. Treehouse of Horrors was one of my big favorites every year. I always wait for that. Uh, but the last decade or so it hasn't been that great. There are, you know, there are YouTubers out there that have done complete videos on the collapse of Treehouse of Horrors that's no longer horror anymore. Uh, they've lost their sense of what, you know, the, the episodes of horror. Go back and look. Uh, you know, there's one point in a moment they're just doing TV, you know, just... TV shows, you know, crazy TV shows or crazy movies, you know, or action films. Um, they did Mr. and Mrs. Smith, you know, they, on, on one of the episodes. You know, that could have been left for a montage episode or something to that nature. But get back to the horror, you know, do a Dark Shadows. You know, there's plenty, you know, they could have done a couple of more vampire ones. There are plenty of vampire tales they could have done with, you know. But, you know, this is... This is what's happened with this. Now, is it Disney's fault? No, it's not. Not with the sale. This didn't happen. This this was happening prior to the sale of the Fox Entertainment portions of it. Uh, and the thing about it is, and it's it's not getting any better under them. Now, you have to remember, Disney is responsible for the decline of the Muppets. They didn't know what to do with it. Now they're at the point where they don't know what to do with the Simpsons. And the same thing was going to happen to Family Guy. American Dad, look where they're at now. Look at the ratings they are. They're terrible on TBS. They shouldn't have been put brought over to TBS. They should have went to Adult Swim. And I know a lot of you would agree with that. They would have been better on Adult Swim. Futurama repeats are coming back uh, are, excuse me, they're on Adult Swim again. And the ratings are pretty uh, steady on that because they're trying to bring back that um, gold. I think there is another Futurama season coming. 
on that. How good is it going to be? I don't know. It's basically, you know, we've seen what they did with Animaniacs. You've seen what they've done with a couple of other animated series on there. And the thing is, people look at The Simpsons and they say it's been a, here for a long time. And, you know, their merch has kept this show going. Uh, movie, they, I think they want to do a second film as far as that. You know, you got Bob's Burgers coming out with their film um, at the end of this month. No, actually, at the end of this week. End of this week, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. But I have to agree with some of the people. I think it's time that we put to rest this TV series. I mean, it, it, it's, it's gone. It's past. You know, and the grandfather of them all didn't last that long. If you not seen uh, Wait Till Your Father Gets Home, it only had got a couple of seasons. Yes, folks, there is a, there is a grandfather to all of these uh, animated series. 1972, this series was out. It's Wait Till Your Father Gets Home, uh, voice acted by Tom Bosley, Jack Burns, Lenny Weiss, Willie Ames, Don Nuts. And if you look at it and you look at the characters on this series, you can see that there is a Homer type and uh, Marge and Lisa and Bart. And you could say the same thing with, with um, American Dad. You could say this with uh, Family Guy. It, you know, it doesn't have the same issues as they do, but the characteristics that happened the craziness and all that if you get a chance it is available this is a hanna barbera and this was on prime time back in the day catch it i think you can see that there's some i think on youtube i think someone has them uploaded but you know see if you can find them and you know it's different for its time period but it was ahead of its time long before the simpsons long before american day i you know but it lasted only three seasons. Why? Why did it get canceled? 1972, different time period. Different time period for this. And uh, I think if it was made later on, I think it would have done better. I think into the 80s, I think it would have been a different type before The Simpsons. And I think it would have lasted a little bit longer. But uh, like I said, Simpsons... You know, maybe R.I.P. at this point. And I think with Family Guy, we're getting to that point as well. So we'll see what happens on the following season. If 34 gets any better than this, I doubt it. And uh, we'll see.